WTC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. We're able to find a way to try and stay cool as we saw some of the hottest temperatures with today getting up to 97 degrees here in Lafayette at the airport. Feel like temperatures into the triple digits and that summertime heat just continues right on into the new work week with highs mid 90s the first couple days. But temperatures start to go down as rain chances go up by about Wednesday and Thursday. The reason for the hot weather continues to be an area of high pressure in the northern Gulf of Mexico, which has been allowing for plenty of sun shine throughout the last couple of days and into the weekend. We did have a few showers work their way down into western portions of Acadiana, but those have now all run out of steam. We have more showers back across the Rocky Mountains, but that's going to continue to stay off to our west. Eventually, another low pressure will start to work through by the mid part of the week, and that could interact with some Gulf of Mexico moisture and increase our rain chances by about Thursday. But as I mentioned, we had some showers and even some thunderstorms develop along Beauregard down into Calcasieu, and they made their way into Cameron Parish just a few hours ago. But now all that activity has fallen apart, did send a good amount of cloud cover our way, setting up some beautiful sunsets here in Acadiana, especially in Lafayette Parish and up to the north in St. Landry. But you can see those clouds are now working off down to the south and southeast and should move out of here within the next couple hours. But the big story continues to be what's going on in the lower Gulf of Mexico down around the Bay of Cam Peachy still watching this cluster of thunderstorms still having a very hard time getting its act together very disorganized still running into some upper level shear that kind of tears apart any storms that do fire up you can see as we move into the evening not a whole lot going on right now the big storms continue to be down in Central America and so we'll have to watch some of that activity, see if that gets influenced and kind of gets wrapped around into this, but still has a 60% chance and maybe development within the next five days. If it does start to show a little better activity by tomorrow, they will send the hurricane hunters to kind of give us a better picture of what's going on. But we do expect this to slowly move off to the west northwest and head towards the east coast of Mexico. There's a very slim chance that it could maybe get strengthened to a tropical depression, but most of it will then kind of move on shore. But either way, still going to bring very heavy rains to Mexico along the Texas coast and eventually head towards our area by about Thursday afternoon. But in the meantime, still going to be dealing with the heat and humidity here locally, starting off with mostly sunny skies. So have the sunglasses ready tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we'll start to have those puffy cumulus clouds developing. One or two could have a brief shower with them, but I do think another dry day for most of Acadiana with temperatures pushing the mid 90s. So it's all about the heat the first couple of days of the week. And you can see even in the Tuesday, very similar story. Plenty of sunshine with those afternoon clouds and maybe just a 10% chance for a stray shower. But it does look like a couple dry days to start off the work week. But beyond that, that's when we start to see some of that tropical moisture move through, maybe a scattered shower or storm possible late Wednesday morning into the early afternoon. But it does look like most of Wednesday is still relatively dry, but then you see those two lows starting to get a little closer together and that'll start to pull that moisture towards our area. And so you can see by Thursday afternoon, a good chance for some heavy showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms. A couple of them could have some gusty winds with them and lots of heavy lightning and thunder. Big storms come through Thursday night with very heavy downpours associated with that and some thunder and lightning, maybe some gusty winds, but not really seeing a whole lot of severe weather with this system. Most of the rain is out of here by Friday morning and Friday for the better part looks to be dry. Still could have a wraparound isolated shower during the afternoon and that continues into Saturday. But for the most part, it does look like a couple dry days after that system moves through. But you can see it kind of meanders and drops more rain back through the Ohio and Mississippi Valley. And so all that rain eventually continues to make its way into the Mississippi. So river levels in the Mississippi will just continue to remain high all the way through. It looks like even now most of summer before we finally get a break and can get those levels to go down. But we'll see what happens with the opening of the Morganza by Thursday. But you can see with the system heading in on Thursday, we're looking at our own round of three, then maybe five inches of rain in some localized spots. So heavy rainfall, a good bet. We'll have to watch out for the possibility for some flash flooding as it's closer to us. We'll have to kind of watch the trends and see if these high totals continue to be the thought as we get closer and closer to that event. But in the meantime, a very typical summer night, decreasing clouds, 75 for that overnight low with lots of stars out there as we go to a new moon. Partly cloudy and hot for our Monday, 96. So another day in the mid 90s, heat and seas getting into those triple digits. Very low end chance for a shower tomorrow afternoon. I think most of us stay dry the first couple days. There you see those rain chances increasing and with the extra cloud cover, temperatures do fall into the upper.
upper 80s for our Wednesday and Thursday, so a little bit of a break from the heat, but it does come with the chance for some showers. Back to the 90s by next weekend as rain chances go down, so it's just kind of be that summertime pattern. When you get the clouds and rain, it cools you off a little bit, but it provides the rain that we badly do not need as the rivers continue to be very high. Will it make it a bit more humid? It does make it humid for a bit, but then it's just kind of that cycle of the showers come and go. All right, thank you, Eric.